BrainWise presents Grade 1, Science Quiz B, Part 5 Hey there, science stars! Are you ready to put your brain to the test with some awesome science questions? Let's blast off! Number 1, what are large bodies of water called? Again, what are large bodies of water called? The choices are A. Rivers B. Mountains C. Oceans D. Hills The correct answer is C. Oceans Number 2 What are hard, solid materials from the Earth called? Again what are hard, solid materials from the Earth called? The choices are A. Soil B. Rocks C. Water D. Sand The correct answer is B. Rocks Number 3 What happens to the sky when it rains? Again, what happens to the sky when it rains? The choices are A. It gets sunny B. It gets cloudy C. It gets windy D. It gets dark The correct answer is B. It gets cloudy Number 4. Which of these can only be done by a living thing? Again, which of these can only be done by a living thing? The choices are A. Making a sound B. Having a shape C. Breathing D. Taking up space The correct answer is C. Breathing Number 5. What do we call the young of a plant? Again, what do we call the young of a plant? The choices are A. A puppy B. A seedling C. A kitten D. A chick The correct answer is B. A seedling Number 6. What causes day and night? Again, what causes day and night? The choices are A. The sun moving around the earth B. The earth spinning on its axis C. The moon covering the sun D. The clouds blocking the sun The correct answer is B. The Earth spinning on its axis. Excellent progress! We're about to dive into some more exciting questions. Take a little break and let's get back to the science adventure. Number 7. What is the time called when the sun disappears below the horizon? Again, what is the time called when the sun disappears below the horizon? The choices are A. Sunrise B. Sunset C. Noon D. Midnight The correct answer is B. Sunset Number 8 what is it called when tiny drops of water in the air come together to form clouds? Again, what is it called when tiny drops of water in the air come together to form clouds? The choices are A. Evaporation B. Condensation C. Precipitation D. Wind The correct answer is B. Condensation Number 9. What is a rainbow? Again, 
What is a rainbow? The choices are A. A colorful cloud B. A colorful arc of light in the sky C. A colorful bird D. A colorful flower The correct answer is B. A colorful arc of light in the sky Number 10 what is pollution? Again, what is pollution? The choices are A. Keeping the environment clean B. Harmful things in the environment C. Taking care of plants and animals D. Recycling materials The correct answer is B. Harmful things in the environment Number 11 Why is it important to conserve energy? Again, why is it important to conserve energy? The choices are A. To make the lights brighter B. To protect the Earth's resources C. To make the house colder D. To waste more water The correct answer is B. To protect the Earth's resources Number 12 Why is it important to recycle paper? Again, why is it important to recycle paper? The choices are A. To make more landfills B. To save trees C. To waste more energy D. To pollute the air The correct answer is B. To save trees Number 13 What can you do with old clothes and toys that you don't use anymore? Again What can you do with old clothes and toys that you don't use anymore? The choices are A. Throw them in the trash B. Donate them to others C. Burn them D. Leave them outside The correct answer is B. Donate them to others Number 14 What do living things need to stay alive? Again What do living things need to stay alive? The choices are A. Toys B. Food and water C. Rocks D. Sand The correct answer is B. Food and water Final stretch! You've got this! Just a few more science challenges to conquer! Let's finish strong! Number 15 Which of these is a characteristic of living things? Again Which of these is a characteristic of living things? The choices are A. They stay the same size B. They can move by themselves C. They don't need food D. They don't change The correct answer is B. They can move by themselves Number 16 What do we see in the sky at night? Again What do we see in the sky at night? The choices are A. Sun B. Rainbow C. Moon and stars D. Clouds The correct answer is C. Moon and stars Number 17 What kind of weather has water falling from the sky? Again what kind of weather has water falling from the sky? The choices are A. Sunny B. Rainy C. Windy D. Cloudy The 
The correct answer is B. Rainy. Number 18. What kind of weather has strong moving air? Again. What kind of weather has strong moving air? The choices are A. Sunny B. Rainy C. Windy D. Cloudy The correct answer is C. Windy Number 19 What does reduce mean? Again what does reduce mean? The choices are A. To make more B. To use less C. To throw away D. To buy new The correct answer is B. To use less Number 20 what are big, tall landforms called? Again, what are big, tall landforms called? The choices are A. Hills B. Valleys C. Mountains D. Rivers The correct answer is C. Mountains Amazing work, science explorers! You've journeyed through the science quiz and emerged victorious! Enjoyed the quiz? Give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and hit that subscribe button! Keep up the great work and see you next time! Way to go! Comment your score and see if you can beat it next time! Check out other videos from BrainWise!